Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty by Trish. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. Today I'm coming to you with a collective haul. I have already filmed this before and I, I started the editing process last night and I just, I didn't like it. Like, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I felt that I could do a better job for you. So I am here today to refilm. It was a big haul. I did cut out the things that I've already talked about in favorites or week in review or etc. If I've gone into detail about it on those things, there's no need in talking about it here too. Let's just dig in. At CVS, you guys know I love the rewards program. I love their coupons and now they're even doing something different. Let me show you super quick. I check my CVS app at least a couple times a week because sometimes they will push through a coupon just for people that have the apps. So I go into my deals and rewards and here I just got a new $10 reward. I have a $6 one from purchases that I made the other day. And then I have other rewards, $3 off of Revlon, $2.50 off $10 of Tresemme, etc etc two dollars off six dollars of rimmel and then i go on down here and now they have manufacturers deals is what they're calling them and you can send those to your card so all you have to do i have my little card on my keys and when it scans it at the end it takes all these off so you can combine these coupons with the coupons that they send you um, via their regular deal coupons. So I had a lot of those. I do really like the Pond's Makeup Remover Wipes and they had those, buy two, get one free. And I had two different coupons for these. So they were very inexpensive and I stocked up and got three packs. And then I had one coupon for the Simple and I could pick any of their cleansing wipes. I didn't know that they had as many as they do and supposedly they have improved them and I did hear somebody else talking about since they had improved them that they did like them better so I got a pack to try. I think I got a pack of these when I was at my mom's and I did I thought they were okay not my favorite but okay so I'm looking forward to trying these again and I have been looking for the right collar with the Neutrogena to send to Natalie because she cannot get it and so I grabbed her one that I think will be close to her shade. I also grabbed her a Wet n Wild. I don't know that she's tried this, but I, you know, I just like to get Natalie's feedback. She might hate it and throw it away, but I like to get her feedback on things. So I also got her a powder and I picked her up a cocoa uh, powder to go because I've really enjoyed using this as a bronzer and I wanted to see how she felt about that also. I also picked her up a um, lip suit. Is it lip suit? A cat suit liquid lip. So I'm anxious to see. I can show you guys now so I can send them to her. Yay! Believe me y'all, even, even if I paid full price for all of the things that I got at the drugstore, it would not touch how much like Natalie or anybody else in Canada would have to pay for the same exact thing prices are crazy there. So I'll just go ahead and stick with the wet and wild train because obviously that's what I'm on right now. I had seen a couple people talk about their blushes and I thought you know what I want to give those a try. So I picked up two. I just realized my light is not on. It's like why can't I see anything? I picked up two. I picked up peach bums which is this really pretty I mean, it is just a beautiful collar and I love to wear creams set it with powders in the summertime. This is Floral Majority and those are beautiful. Well, then I looked up on top of the display and they had these Wet n Wild Mega Glow. The pinky one is Kiss Me If You Can. And that is pink, like Barbie pink. And this is Flirt on the Street, and it is the warmer one. And I've really been into the warm tones. 
I know a lot of people said that is that will probably be my favorite. I know a lot of people say the warm collars are going out. I say it's a personal preference. I also had three little um, shadow trios and I picked up Will You Marina Me? And that is, boy, that one is really, has, that would be a pretty highlight. These are pretty. The other one is Hieroglyphic Heart. And here, are you kidding? I think it was a relative, ooh, I think it was a relatively new display that I saw these from Wet n Wild. And they are Skinny Tip Eyeliner and Mascara. And you all know I love my Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. It's just perfect for inside of my tight line. This is so micro skinny. Crazy. I have not used this yet. And I did try this mascara one day. And I like it for my lower lashes. Didn't smudge or smear the day I wore it. So I'll definitely try it again. If not, it'll be great for my lower lashes. I also got the Wet n Wild Cushion Contour. Screw off the top. It comes with a little um, foam pad and it's a really pretty collar. I'm just I'm looking forward to using that and seeing how I like it. I got too much on. But that is a really pretty. That will be really pretty. I did get one of these Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Shines. And I got it to put over some of my like really dry matte liquid lips, but it is, you have to work to get it out of the divots. See how it holds it? But it's so deep and the, the applicator is so fat that it's really hard to get out of there. So it won't work for that, but what I've been using it for, put it on as I'm doing my makeup and then I leave it on and put my liquid lip on top of it. And I really like it that way. It works very well. It still dries down, but it this really makes your lips look pretty. It doesn't like plump like a lip plumper, but it just moisturizes and hydrates enough that you have a little bit more fullness. The lines aren't quite as noticeable. And under a matte, it's really pretty. So I've been enjoying it like that. I don't know that I had ever seen this before. This is Stay Put, a waterproof pencil from Milani. And I wanted to give that a try. So I grabbed that. And then CoverGirl had two liners that I had not seen. Well, it's one. Two different colors. I got a blue and I got a burgundy. This is called Point Perfect Point Plus. And it's supposed to be self-sharpening self-sharpening perfect line easy to apply and the burgundy is beautiful i didn't actually wear wear it but i just kind of played around with it but it's a brown burgundy so it's not like it's not like somebody's going to talk to you and think hey are you starting to get pink eye it's deep enough to be flattering it's going to be gorgeous and cokey cokey kooky that came to Walmart. This is their eyeliner in bronze. This is their Velvet Smooth Eyeliner. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I think it's beautiful. I have it on my lower line today and I love it. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays put. It's beautiful. And it really, really seemed to make my eyes pop a little more. So. Something else I used to get from Milani before all the micro brow pencils came out was their Easy Brow. I love the spoilie on the end. I think it's a pretty, I mean, to look at it, it's a really pretty pencil. It feels good. It's solid, but the color is just off. I did use it today for, um, I'm trying to use up some of these darker brow pencils when I had the dark roots. By, the, by itself, it's like way too warm for me, like way too warm for me. And I'm like, no way. So 
I'll use it up while I'm using these, but I won't get this again because it is really, really warm. It's almost like a goldeny. I just don't like it. I went to get my hair done the other day, and while I was there and Corey was giving me a blowout, I thought, you know what? I want something to use instead of just the round brush. I don't want to be pulling and tagging when my hair's still too wet. This supposedly will dry my hair 40% faster for less heat damage. But I thought it was really unique and I could see where it would work nicely. So I did get this. I have not used it yet. I just got my hair done Friday. Today's Sunday. So um, I will definitely keep you posted if it's a good one or not. I think it I think it'll be nice to get it to the point where I can use the round brush and it will do less pulling when my hair is vulnerable. Something that I picked up, this is actually my second one. It comes folded like this. And like I said, I did this video before and I'm redoing it. So I don't have the little tag that came on it. But this is just basically a washcloth that's the same material as like the puff, the shower puffs that you can use or the gloves that you get which are great when you're trying to get rid of that self tan that just won't fade away quick enough i really like these these are pretty big and i love these to get them all lathered up flip it behind me and shimmy up and down my back to get my back really good and clean i just feel so much cleaner and like i got everything you know what i mean because you know sweat's disgusting i have some things from alta i got a couple things <laughs> the last day of their sale they had the joyco which i love the joy i almost hit myself in the face with that they have the joyco purple shampoo that i love and so i really wanted to get the conditioner to try now this is like almost just lavender okay but I've only used it once, but I really did enjoy it. It left my hair feel very nice and soft, but it still held curls. So, so far, so good with this. And my hairspray, you guys know, I love this hairspray so, so much. It's gentle on my hair, but yet it does hold nicely. I did have him go ahead and cut an inch off when I was there, and I really am glad I did because it I feel like it livened the ends up again. I told him that I was concerned about the ends. I don't really, I'm just not in the mood to get it cut off right now. I know what's going to happen soon, which is our fawn time, which means Trish will have her hair up all the time because we get no sleep when we first are getting the fawns on the bottle. And I said I wanted to, you know, what would be good for me to put in my hair, wet or dry, preferably something dry too because when I go to do my second day hair it seems like the ends are just they just look horrible he said um you know Reckon has their version of the Olaplex out now and he said you could get the bonder to use and you use it before you shampoo but we can't keep it in stock and he said if we have it that's what you should get it looked really quick and they had one left so i grabbed it and it's just the reckon ph bonder post service perfecter used before shampoo and i'm supposed to use this once a week you can put it all over your hair my biggest concern is the ends of my hair so i'm going to be trying this and i will keep you posted for this size, it was $16. I didn't think that was bad. I also, when I was at Ulta yesterday, picked up this. This is Brush Bath Purifying Brush Cleaner from It Cosmetics. I've heard really good things about this. And I had a little pile here of eye brushes that I needed washed. And I'm telling you, I went through this stuff so quick. I love the Cinema Secrets. Nothing cleans as good and as quickly as the Cinema Secrets. I think I'm just going to use this specifically on my white brushes my white bristle brushes and then i got two other things at alta i got two new collars in tape shape i've been wanting to get the fair beige which is a little bit pinkier that is the fair beige and then this is fair neutral this is probably the one i'll use the most right now because it's a little bit a little bit darker a little more of a yellow this is a little more pink 
which will be great and perfect when I'm not self tanning. Let me compare it to the one I have now, which is light. I thought I got a darker one and I did. Yeah, the one I had is actually darker. I'm gonna to have to look at them again and get one just a little bit darker. I think I need one just a tiny bit darker. So that's the three I have now. This is the light, this is the fair beige, and this is the fair neutral. Elf came out with a highlight brush. At least I didn't know they had a highlight brush before just in the very recent. I got this to apply under my eyes. I love this. This is a great brush. If you're looking for a good one to put on powder under your eye, this also will be good for a super light contour for highlight above your brow bone and on your cheek. Just there's so many, so many different uses for that brush. And I got a new dry shampoo to try. L'Oreal Extraordinary, Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo. Clay in a spray. It has three refined clays in it. I have not tried this yet. I actually got this. I got Teff the shampoo version of this. Teff does not do well sitting up for hardly any period of time when we get her up to wash her hair it has to be you know pretty quick teamwork and and get it done i'm usually drying her hair after her hair's washed i'm usually drying her hair and mom's in the in the living room switching out her bed sheets and everything but it worked pretty well and i wanted to get the dry shampoo dry shampoo to do in between and it sounded so good i was just I'm like, I have to try that too. You know, I can't not try it. And I also got another one to try. This is from Walmart. Ooh, this is one of Dove's new dry shampoos. This is the one for volume and fullness, which I thought this would be good to use the night of me washing my hair because hopefully it's not going to put the gritty stuff in there. Okay, I also picked up this. I wanted to get a box of the Biore strips just because every once in a while I like to feel that deep clean. So fresh, so clean. Chill, chill charcoal cleansing nose strips. Removes blackheads, unclogs pores, works in 10 minutes. Made for him or her. Cute little designs, which you know, that's all sexy and pretty when you are have a big thing on your nose. But I used this once and I really did like it. It really did work. I was impressed. So definitely... If they keep working that way, I will continue buying them. And I got two. They had, I had coupons for Revlon. I had a $15 extra bonus thing. I picked up two of the Revlon eyebrow pencils. Wand and soft brown. I got this before to try and I can't find it anywhere. So I thought, you know what? Get it again. And I did finally pick up the Voluminous Original in blue. I like to take it and put it just on the baseline. With my coupons and the sales they were having, I got two more of the Stay Matte powders because I love those. And I got two of their bronzers because I've had these before and I really did like them. These are actually waterproof. That is Sun Bronze. And this is Sun Dance. I wanted to give the Milani Conceal and Correct another try and I wanted a fresher bottle and I wanted to try the Milani Prime and Shield Face Primer. This is a mattifying, pore minimizing, oil-free primer. And then with my new hair care, I shared it with you um, on my current favorites, I believe. I also found at CVS the Leave-In Detangling Milk and the hydrating intense hydrating oil this this you can use on wet or dry hair and because this is third day hair for me i did put a little bit on the ends before i curled my hair today my hair still held curl and it made it look healthier and better new from alme one coat mega volume show stopping volume and this has a megaphone brush. 
And I'm not going to open this right now because I'm about to do a switch out and I want to keep this as fresh as possible. I was also in the need of a new deodorant and y'all know I'm not shy about the fact that I work, I live on a farm, I train dogs, I do a lot of stuff and I don't ever want to stink. So I got me some Old Spice. I got Old Spice Amber. I think this is a new scent because I don't remember. It's amber with black currant. Mmm. It smells pretty. It really does. So, I'm going to smell pretty. I would rather somebody laugh at me for wearing a men's deodorant than to stay away from me because I stunk. I was out of my Bedhead, my Dumb Blonde shampoo. I love this stuff. I mix this with my Joyco Purple shampoo and it's not as drying. This is really, really good, not just for blondes, shampoo. And they have it for $12.99 where this size, unless it's on sale at Ulta, is at least double that. So I did pick this up. I also picked up this Real Technique brow set and it was $7.99. They had three brushes. Yes, I bought them because they're pretty and that's okay. This one I bought because I have heard so many people say their favorite fan brush was the Eco Tools, and I could never find it anywhere. And I found it at TJ Maxx, and it is so soft. It is crazy. I really like this brush. And this brush I got because it was beautiful and it was packaged beautiful. And I showed you in my other video, but I don't have the package anymore. But I thought that was so pretty. It is also very soft and this one also very soft very pretty that rose gold handle pink and white bristles a couple things from Sephora you've seen me talk about this Stila palette the matte and metal palette okay now some of these colors are really close to my skin tone so don't think that it's not that they did not I don't think that it's that they didn't swatch nicely, but this is what we have. This guy right here, this one right here, and this one right here, I really had to build this one and this one up. This one, even when I tried to build it up, it still was kind of skippy. I tried to be all cute and everything, and I had an epic fail, so <laughs> I tried. Okay, here, this is the Tarte make believe in yourself palette really is a beautiful palette and i just wanted to show you the swatches real quick <laughs> do you see what i did i tried to go in the same circle starting with this matte collar and going to my right all the way around to show you the pigmentation the white is in the middle and i didn't have room for these two right here so that's them. Okay, that's it. That is all of my haul, I believe. You guys have put up with me long enough. I did enjoy our visit. I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything and seeing a little bit of what I'm going to be playing with on and off the camera for the next little while. Thank you so much for giving me a little bit of your day. I truly hope that you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.